In this video, let us learn how to make the project taxonomy information collection system. After watching this video, you could able to make the project in VB, or in C Sharp, or in Java, or in Android, or in Python. It depends on which language you want. You're supposed to do a project for your curriculum activities is concerned. It may be in third semester or fifth semester. You need to select the different title. So the, for this is what the different title because regularly we do the regular titles. But if you search for the different title, taxonomy information collection system is totally a different title. So probably it's a good project also. Therefore, watch the complete video and then you can try to do this project in any of these languages. So first, let us understand what is taxonomy, what we want to do it in this particular project. So this is the hierarchy of biological classification. So you can classify any animal or plant, any living things. So according to this classification. So here, uh, first we'll take the kingdom. So the uh, main is the kingdom. Then we have phylum. Then you have a class. Then you have order, family, uh, genus, and species. Right. So probably this will come like, you no. Know, so domain is very big because below the domain is the kingdom. So next to that is a kingdom. So here you can have a kingdom. Next is a phylum. Next class order. That means species belongs to genes. Genus belongs to family. Family belongs to order. Order belongs to class. Class belongs to phylum. Phylum belongs to kingdom. This is how the whole concept works. So here we more concentrate on the plant informations. So I'll show you some samples of the plants. So this picture for rows actually. So let's look at rose. So this is a name, Rosa species. Rosa is a genius. Rosa gallica is a species and Rosa is a genius. Rosa is a family. Uh, Rosales is order. Dicotyledon is a class. Angiospermae is a pylum. And Plantae is the kingdom. So but if you look at the kingdom, uh, a Plantae kingdom, there are... 2,80,000 species. When you go to particular this phylum, there are again 2,50,000 species. Class, there are totally 2,35,000. So if you take Rosalia order, it is around 18,000 species. Family, Rosa family, there are 30,000, sorry, 3,500 species. Rosa, in that only there are 500 species. In that Rosa Gallica is a one actually. That's how the logic works. So here uh, uh, picture for banana, classification of banana. So it's belong to kingdom plantae and division is uh, Speromatopita and class is Monocotyl. <laughs> okay, fine. So then order, then check it out like ma, then family, you know, Mukase, then uh, genes is Musa and species is Musa Acuminata. Musa accumulate the spaces. So what we want to do is we want to enter all these details in the project. So for it's like a complete database. Okay. So next, whenever you search for the any of the product, any of the living things. So if you type that one, immediately show me the what species it belongs to, what genes it belongs to, so what family it belongs to, and then what order. So all we want to classify and then we want to store in a database. For this purpose, this is the project. In this video, we'll enter the data for garden pea. Uh, this belongs to plant A and then phylum is angiospermae. Class is dicotyledon and order is rosales and family is a papillonose and then uh, genes is a physum and species is a sativum. I'll enter all these details in the project and I'll show you like how all things looks. Fine. So let's move to the project. Uh, here is a project. So you can see here, we have a different form for each one. Uh, for kingdom, there is a separate form. For phylum, separate form. Class, order, and all these things. So let us look at the design. So if you take the kingdom, if I, this particular form, so you can there are two fields are there here because kingdom name is important. Uh, again, uh, you have to design the tables first. 
right so here is a kingdom table so kingdom name and the details then the phylum so the phylum name and then kingdom name both should be there here because kingdom then the phylum name class there are four columns order there are five family there are six columns here like that it's continuous species and then plant then plant details right so we focus on plants so for we we constant on the plant related information therefore we will collect the plant details but we can make the complete taxonomy so we can connect all the living things here like so the next is the order sorry phylum so if you say phylum you go to phylum here phylum form so three fields are there so next one class so it is a class form so the four fields are there like that okay so let's enter some data and check it out like how this whole project works so when you go to kingdom you can see that we already enter the plant a one so like that what are the kingdom names are comes that you need to enter all the kingdom names here so you have to click new you have to enter this and then you have to save same way you have to go to phylum so you have to enter all the phylum names so here one we are enter mango leopita mango leopita is the one particular phylum so like that what are the phylums comes under the plant a you need to enter everything here then the class again in the class you can see that kingdom so there is one kingdom is already enter under this monolipita then you have to enter the class name here then order so you need to enter the order details in this family you need to enter the family details here so next one is the genus so you have to enter all the details of the genus for the particular genus so next is a species so in case of species when entering the new data first you need to select the plant a because you already entered in the kingdom the kingdom name come here come it comes here over here then phylum name in this particular kingdom what are the phylums will come so that will be there here then class name so under this what are the classes that will come order name so under this what are the orders that will be there and then family that is there and then genes so phizem then you have to enter the species name here what is the new species name and then details for example i shown for banana so that we can enter it over there here fine so next is the plant pictures we can enter some pictures of this particular plant so what are the pictures we have collected that all the pictures we can enter it here uh, okay fine we don't have this picture now fine i'll close this next is the plant details entry we can enter all the details using this particular uh, pictures now you can able to see the complete details so here what are the plant names are there if i click this now you can see that complete details of the plant the corresponding picture and what is the kingdom what is the phylum class order family genes everything will be shown over there here so ultimately we have to show all the details on the screen so here all the plant names will come so if you keep entering more and more the list will come over there then you can easy for us to select any one and you can get all the details so this is the basic level project we can enhance this project to the next level therefore we can provide a search option so that you can easily search the any of the plant or living things from the allable list fine so for more projects please go to youtube and then uh, search for iblix tutorials so when you search for iblix tutorials you'll come to this section and then go to videos so you can see that uh, we have different uh, project videos here and also please subscribe click the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel and also you can learn python you can learn vb.net you can learn c sharp via our channel so please browse all the videos and check it out which are the one you are interested and keep practice every day so the for practice will make you perfect and uh, you learn lot so ultimately you should know like how to do the project your own okay that's what the end of the day you the requirement so for please try keep improve thank you